Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, I got some questions on how to do search functions in set expressions. So let's look into it. Now let's look at the different products that we have. We have a lot of products which have oat in it. So let's use that to do our set expression. Now I'm going to drag and drop a bar chart and I'm going to use my product as the dimension and our measure we're going to write our set expression so how do we do that i have a bunch of videos on set expression please have a look at that so we always start with an aggregate and we say sum of sales and then we use the set expression to create a subset of our data set so that is open and close so curly braces open and close angle brackets and then we call then we have our identifier in this case i'm going to use a dollar and that basically means that we take whatever we select into consideration. So selections are taken into consideration. And then we call our field. So I'm going to say product as my field is equal to and whatever the value has to be put on inside angled braces. And here I have a video on when to use single quotes and when to use double quotes. So if you're unsure, have a look at that video. And over here, since we're doing a search function, we need to use double quotes. So I put double quotes and I say search for all products which has oat in it. And I put a star. So this basically means that it's going to look at all my products. And if it contains the word oat, it's going to sum, sum up the sales for that. So let's see how it works. Click on apply. If I open it up, we see that all the ones that are shown here has oat in it in some way because we are doing a search for all that is oat. So that's how you can use the search function in set expression and do a wild search for something that you want. What if you want to say, bring it, bring me all the products which doesn't have oat. So the, in that case, you can just put a minus before equal to. This basically means not equal to oat and I click on apply and then I get two products over here. So if I open it, so cold brew latte and matcha latte doesn't have oat, therefore it's bringing it now. So this was a quick how to do wild search in set expression. So let's go back and I say now it's uh, now I'm saying minus equal to means don't bring in any with where when you do a while search for oat, you find it. So bring me only the ones that don't have oat. Now I'm saying again, bring me the ones that have oat in it. And I put a star before and a star after. So you can, you can change the string as to the way you want. So, and when I click on apply, these two go away and only the ones with oat comes in. So that's how you can use, um, wild search in your set expression hope it was helpful see you in the next one cheers